Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the camera or any of the MP4 video to perform the motion capture and send it to your Unreal Engine to make it become an animation sequence in your game project. You can just have a look. These two pictures, these are videos that it automatically will capture Use the AI, use the artificial intelligence to capture any, any of the animation sequence for your, for your Unreal Engine. So now I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put the link for you. The first one, you have to download this software. The name is 3D Post Tracker. You can download from the official site or you can download from my Google Drive as an alternative download link. After you download it, you will get a zip file and you extract it, you will get the software. This is the one. Alright. Next, you prepare a video that you want to perform uh, the, the motion capture or capture the as animation sequence. For example, as demo, I will use a Tai Chi video. Now I have a check. This is a Tai Chi video. Alright, this is just an MP4 video and I want to perform the motion capture, a mocap. So double click and open the 3, 3D post tracker. This is an AI software. Once you open it already, here you can choose to use your webcam, your camera, or you can just choose a movie file. As demo, I will load the movie file. This file is on my desktop. I will click the desktop. Then I double click it. And now it will start the video. And now it not yet starts. So later, once it starts already, you have to click record the BV hatch. So now we are still waiting for the performance. Now the FPS is 39.9. And wait for a while before I click record VVH. All right, now start already, I click record. Now it is recording. And we just wait for a while to let it record just a few animations, a few frames here. Now you can see totally you already recorded more than 1000 frames already now. You can see it automatic will track the video and the AI will automatic perform and record all the body motions here. And later you are going to send it to your Unreal Engine to make it become an animation sequence. Now it automatic follow. And once you feel satisfied and done already, you Click again the recording, it will stop. And now as demo, I will save as a, B, a BVH file on my desktop. And then I click save. It is a BVH file. And now I can close this already, the 3D post tracker. I can close it. This is the BVH file. I name it as Tai Chi. All right, Tai Chi BVH. Next, you scroll down, go to my video description, go and get the 3D Exchange Pipeline software. Once you already have this software, you open it. And then next, you have to download, download this, the 3D Post Tracker.iAvatar. This is the iAvatar file that I already give you the download link. This is the Google Drive download link. Once you download it already, you will get the iAvatar you drag the IR avatar into 3D Exchange, just drag in. And then, next, what you are going to do is scroll down until you find the, the animation, the motion library. Drag the BVH into here, into the motion library. And then click Convert. And then click add all to perform. Just now, 
when I drag in, now I delete all. If I drag in, you must select the current character and click convert. Then click add all to perform this here and click export. Once you click export, you must make sure you, you untick everything first and only tick the export animations. As demo, I will just export on my desktop. I browse, browse on my desktop. Okay, and the file name is Tai Chi. Export the RL motions. Click OK. Right, successfully exported. Now this is an RL motion. The file format is RL motion file, Tai Chi dot RL motions. Right. Once you're done already, and always remember in this tutorial, we are going to send these motions as an animation sequence for any of the 3D avatar in your Unreal Engine game project. So now I'm going to demo step by step how to send this to your Unreal Engine. Alright, this is the Unreal Engine. As demo, I'm going to create a new game. Next. As demo, I will just create a third person game. Select next. And so the file name, I'm going to put the motion capture demo 01. All right, I, I create a new project. This is a new game project. And I will show you step by step. You can see the Icon 3D Exchange 7. I can start a new file because we don't want that already. And now I minimize everything. This is the new game project in your Unreal Engine. All right, next. Now the only avatar is the Mana Queen. This is the Mana Queen. Click the contents, double click the, the Mana Queen folder under the character, the mesh. The avatar is the Mana Queen. SK Mana Queen. This is a skeleton mesh. So we want to export this first before we import the RL motions. We still need a 3D Exchange 7. So this is the SK Mana Queen. I right click it. I export it first. I set actions, export. So now I open a new folder here on my desktop. I name it as Mana Queen. All right, now this is a new folder. I copy the new folder's location, Control C, and I paste it here. As demo, I will export it here. Escape Mana Queen, save, export. Now the FBX file is exported in this folder. If we import this FBX file into 3D Exchange, and let us see, once you import it, and click OK, and then, we don't want this auto conversion process, we select No. You can see once it it get into the 3D Exchange 7. This is an A post we don't want. We want the T post. So in order to get the T post, you must do some work. All right. To do some work, you click Convert to Non-Standard. You, you make it become a T post. You double click this skeleton. You press. Sorry. You press. All right. You want to access it manually. To make it become T pose, but seem this is not that ideal. So we better use the Mizamo's website. This one you can say it first. We don't want the A pose. Click file new. We don't want it. This is the FBX file. And next step, go into your browser. Enter the Mizamo, the Mizamo. Dot com. Right. This site can be rich. Search for Mizamo. This is the Mizamo.com. Wait for a while. Now it is logged into Mizamo.
All right, since today the internet connection to the Mizamo is quite slow, so today I'm not going to use the Mizamo. Just do it manually. You can do it. Just follow step by step here. You can do it perfectly. So drag in the SK Mana Queen into the 3D Exchange 7. I will show you step by step. What about if you don't have internet, you can't access the Mizamo, everything coming too slow. So just now I drag in already. This is the auto conversion, you select no. The first time, next. You, you click convert to non-standard. This is at the side here. You have to drag down, convert to non-standard. And you manually do a T-post for Mana Queen before you convert it. Here, double click. You press E. You manually create a T-post. All right, here also do the same thing. Wait. Here. Manually create a T pose for Mana Queen. And then now is the leg, double click, press E, adjust, here also the same, adjust, create a T-pose. The T-pose must be straight. All right, now it is better. This is a T pose. And next, we are going to plot the bones. If you double click this, you check this is a head. So now you have to map the bone. This is a head. And here, this is for the neck. You click the last one, plot that here. The next one, this one. Click here. The arm and the hand. Plot it. Here. All right, now next is this one the spine. This one you can plot that here. And we are going to ignore the shoulder. We don't plot the shoulder bone. Next, the tight. And now, the leg. And foot. Once done already, you click active and then click convert. Now, this avatar already have the T-pose. And then you scroll down. You can see the motion library is still empty. Here. Now, this mana queen already become a T-pose. Now you can save it as an I avatar. You click export. For this time, you only tick export the geometry. And then browse the desktop. Click OK. The, the file name is the SK Mana Queen, the non standard character for Icron 7. You click OK to save it. Save it as here. This is the SK Mana Queen. The whole process is choose any of the avatars, skeletal mesh, and export it. Use the 3D exchange to create a T pose and map the bones. Next, you scroll to the, the motion library there. And then you drag in the RL motion just now. Just drag in and set all to perform. Now you can have a preview here. Just have a click. And then you click play. You can see this is exactly the animation of Tai Chi just now. That already 
save as BVH. This is the mocap. This is the motion capture just now. All right. Next, we are going to export it as FBX file and import into Unreal Engine now. So here, export as FBX. The target two preset, you choose Unreal Engine. And then you untick include geometry and only include the animations. Now you only have one animation. You only have one, but you also take the save one take profile, these two you take it. Then you click OK. Wait, click OK. This is the new one. You can see it have the prefix of the file name SK Manoquin underscore tai chi this is this is the animation sequence that you can import into your unreal engines now under under the content folder it is inside the mannequin folder the character here under the mesh folder you can just right click here new folder you can put the, the folder name as animation the skeleton mesh is here. So you double click in and then you can see this is the skeleton UE4. If you double click it, you can see actually the skeleton. The skeleton is the UE4 mannequin skeleton. You click the skeleton, you can see. Just now it's a skeleton mesh. Once you click the skeletons, it will show what is the file name of the skeletons. The UE4 Mannequin Skeletons. So now you can close it. UE4 Mannequin Skeletons. Remember this name. All right, it's at here, UE4 Mannequin Skeletons. You double click the animation folder to open it. Then you drag in the FBX file. The skeleton you must choose properly. Now this is the only one, UE4 Mannequin Skeletons. The animation length, you must choose the animated time. Always remember, this is really important. And then you click import all. Now it is importing it as an animation sequence for your Unreal Engine's SK Mannequin skeletons. So here we just need to wait for a while until it finish import the animation sequence here. Now, once it finish importing, it will show you a message log. You can just close this message log. And you can see now it already become an animation sequence. You already successfully import the Tai Chi animation sequence into your Unreal Engine. At the beginning, you are just using a video or webcam or camera to perform the, the motion capture and use the 3D Exchange 7. And now finally, it is inside your Unreal Engine. You double click and have a check now. Is this really the animation sequence that you recorded? You capture just now. Yes, this is really the Tai Chi's animation sequence that at the beginning performed by the AI, the 3D post tracker just now. All right, that is really awesome. Now it is already in in your Unreal Engine. Now, that's all for today about how to use the camera or MP4, any of the video to capture the motion, perform the mocap, and send it to your Unreal Engine game project for any 3D avatar in your Unreal Engine game project and make it become an animation sequence in your Unreal Engine. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.